day, science-minded learners. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Teacher Kids, your science chum. Have your pen, paper, and module ready for we will have a recap about separating mixtures through filtering, sieving, evaporation, decantation, and using magnet here in our Science 6 class. In our previous episodes, you learned about separating mixtures through the use of magnets. As a review, what are the mixtures that can be separated through the use of magnet? Mixture of iron fillings and sand, thumbtacks and flour, pens and papers, nails and pebbles, and any mixture of metals and non-metals. What is the object used to separate the mixture of non-metals and metals? Very good, learners! Magnets can be used to separate mixtures of non-metals and metals. Put a check if the mixture can be separated using a magnet and put an X if it does not. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Scrap iron and dried leaves. The correct answer is check. Number two, knots and stones. The correct answer is X. Number three, sand and crumpled papers. The correct answer is X. Number four, needles and buttons. The correct answer is check. Amazing! You really understood our previous episode. Science-minded learners, are you ready to face your next journey in learning science? I'm sure you are. Today, we shall enjoy learning and answering different activities about separating mixtures. I am very sure you will be able to do this perfectly because we had already taken it up in our previous episodes. So, science-minded learners, let's shout together! We are ready! That's great, my dear learners! Now, let's dive into what's new! Arrange the jumbled letters to form the correct word. Write your answers on your paper. Very good! Evaporation Correct! Decantation Great! Magnetizing Excellent! Filtration Very good! Sieving Well done, my dear learners! You got it correctly! It only shows that you truly understood our previous discussions. Keep it up! At the end of this episode, you will learn how to Identify the different ways of separating mixtures. Describe the different processes involved in separating mixtures. And apply the different techniques in everyday life. There are many ways of separating mixtures. The techniques in separating mixtures depend on the type or kind of mixture you have. In our previous episodes, we learned the different techniques in separating mixtures. 
we learned about filtration, evaporation, decantation, sieving, hand picking, and the use of magnets. Components of mixtures can be separated into different parts. Solid to solid mixtures can be separated either through hand picking or physical manipulation, sieving, or the use of magnets. Hand picking or physical manipulation is the technique used in separating the solid components of a heterogeneous mixture. The components of the mixture should be big enough to be seen and picked by hands and forceps. Sieving is used when two or more components of different sizes are separated from a mixture. This involves the use of a strainer or big screen to separate the components. Mixture of metals and non-metals could be separated with the use of magnets. Mixtures that are composed of soluble solid and liquid components can be separated by evaporation through heating. And mixtures that are composed of insoluble solid and liquid can be separated through filtration. Evaporation is the technique of separating soluble solids from liquid through heating like the mixture of salt and water. Filtration is the technique used to separate insoluble solid from liquid with the use of a cloth or filter paper, like the mixture of tea leaves and the tea. Mixtures with less dense substances can be separated by decantation. Decantation is the technique used in separating a less dense substance from a dense one. In the process of decantation, the mixture is left undisturbed. When the components are separated, the less dense substance can be removed by slowly pouring out the less dense substance. The oil in the water could be removed using the decantation technique. So, my dear learners, do you remember all of the techniques? That's great! Now, let's have our activity time! Are you ready, science-minded learners? Yes, I know you're all ready! In this activity, we shall enrich what you have learned about separating mixtures. Identify what techniques should be used to separate the following mixtures. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Rotten vegetables from basket of vegetables. Very good! The correct answer is hand picking. Number two, sand and water. That's right. The correct answer is filtration and decantation. Number three, salt from sea water. Great. The correct answer is evaporation. Number four, nails and sand. Good! The correct answer is use of magnets. Number five, fine flour from lumpy flour. Excellent! The correct answer is Saving. Number 6. Oil and water. Well done! The correct answer is decantation. Science-minded learners, do you want another activity? Yes! Let's have another activity. What's more? 
read the sentences carefully and tell what technique should be used by matching it with column B. What technique should we use when we dry wet clothes under the sun? Okay, that's right. The answer is letter D, evaporation. What technique should we use when we want to separate fine particles of sand from a gravel? Great! The correct answer is letter B, sieving. What technique should we use when we need to separate the pins from the mango seeds. Very good! The correct answer is letter E. Through the use of magnets, what technique should we use when we need to separate the coconut milk from the coconut meat? Good! The correct answer is letter A. Filtration What technique should we use when we want to separate grapes from a basket of apples? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Hand-picking or physical manipulation Very good, science-minded learners! You did a good job today! Excuse me! Hello, teacher Keys! Oh! Hi, Sissy! It's nice to see you today! What can I do for you? Teacher Keys, I am very happy that I am almost done answering my modules. Oh! That's good, Sissy! You're doing great! So, where are you now in answering your science module? Teacher Keys, I have here a puzzle about techniques in separating mixtures. Can you help me with this puzzle, teacher? Sure, Sissy. I am willing to help you and our science-minded learners too are very eager to help you always. Thank you, teacher Keys. And science-minded learners, identify the techniques in separating mixtures. Circle the word of the correct answer. What technique in separating mixtures do you find in vertical position in the word puzzle? Very good! We have sieving. What else learners? Very good! We have magnet. How about in horizontal position. That's right! We have decantation. What else? That's correct! Evaporation. What's more? Excellent! We have filtration. Okay, we still have one more. That's right! We have hand-picking. Yay! Well done, science-minded learners! Our friend Sissy is very happy because you are always there ready to help her. Hopefully, you will not get tired of helping someone like Sissy. Now, let's go to what I have learned. Complete the following paragraph. Write your answers on your paper. I learned that There are many ways of separating mixtures. The techniques used in separating mixture depend on the type or kind of mixture you have. Solid-to-solid -solid mixtures can be separated through blank, blank, blank. Soluble solids can be separated through blank, 
and insoluble solids can be separated through blend. Mixtures with less dense substances can be separated from denser substances through blend. That's right! There are many ways of separating mixtures. The techniques in separating mixture depend on the type or kind of mixture you have. Solid-to-solid -solid mixtures can be separated through hand-picking, the use of magnets, and sieving. Soluble solids can be separated through evaporation and insoluble solids can be separated through filtration. Mixtures with less dense substances can be separated from denser substances through decantation. Science-minded learners, are you ready for our next activity, What I Can Do? In your paper, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Number 1. Mixtures of sand and gravel can be separated by hand picking. The correct answer is false. Number 2. Mixtures of oil and water can be separated by decantation. The correct answer is true. Number 3. The drying of a wet blanket under the heat of the sun undergoes the evaporation process. The correct answer is true. Number 4. Sieving is the technique used to separate dried leaves from sugar. The correct answer is true. Number 5. Needles can be separated from the sand by the use of magnets. The correct answer is true. Well done, science-minded learners! Indeed, you really understand our lesson in this episode. I hope that you will not forget what you learned today. Now, science-minded learners, are you ready for our assessment? That's great! So now, let's have your assessment. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Do it on your paper. Number 1. What method is used to separate a less dense substance from a denser one? Letter A. Decantation Letter B. Evaporation Letter C. Filtration Letter D. Sieving The correct answer is Letter A. Decantation Number 2. Which of the following mixtures can be separated through hand picking? Letter A. Mixed nuts. Letter B. Sugar and salt. Letter C. Salt and water. Letter D. Water and oil. The correct answer is Letter A. Mixed nuts. Number 3. What will happen? to a less dense substance in a mixture. Letter A, it will blend. Letter B, it will disappear. 
Letter C, it will float. Letter D, it will sink. The correct answer is letter C, it will float. Number 4. What method is used to separate milk from grated coconut? Letter A. Decantation Letter B. Evaporation Letter C. Filtration Letter D. Hand picking The correct answer is Letter C. Filtration Number 5. What method is used to separate metals from non-metals? Letter A, evaporation. Letter B, filtration. Letter C, hand picking. Letter D, use of magnets. The correct answer is letter D, use of magnets. So, how do you find your assessment, science-minded learners? Is it easy? Yes, I know that it is very easy for you because you participated actively in our lesson in this episode. Well done, science-minded learners! To catch up with our next lesson on benefits of separating mixtures, let's stay tuned to learn more. Only here on Deathbed TV. Always remember, our Almighty God is always with us and the virus will not stop us from learning. Once again, I am Teacher Kids, leaving a message, it's better to learn slowly than to not learn at all. Goodbye!